The next topic which we will be seeing here is conversion of fraction into decimal. Okay. So, now we will be seeing conversion value. Okay. And the first one is fraction to decimal. So, what do you mean by conversion of fraction to a decimal children? Now, if I say that I have to write a number 1 by 5. So, this is a fraction, right? Now, in order to convert into decimal, we always have to convert the value in the multiples of 100. It can be either 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 that it goes on, okay? So, the ultimate logic is you have to convert this number in zeros value, okay? So, now if I write 1 by 5, so what is the e uh, easiest way to convert it? So, I can write it as if I multiply 5 into 20 and similarly 1 into 20, I will be getting a value by 20 by 100, okay? And now is it possible for me to convert it into fraction? No, this is the fraction value. So, now can I convert it into decimal? Yes. So, how will you convert it? So, now this will become 0 0.6. Shall we see? So, 20 divided by 100. So, will it get divisible? No. So, I put a decimal here. This becomes here 0. Now, is it divisible? Yes. So, I write here 2. 200 and my remainder is 0. Okay, coming to the next question. So, the next question says 3 by 20. Okay, so as I said, I have to convert this in the nearest tens or hundreds value, right? Because that will make me easy to convert it into the decimal figure. So, now this also, I can multiply. How many times? How many times will 20 get multiplied to convert it into 100? 5, right? So, now I will be multiplying 5 with both the numerator and the denominator. So, 3 into 5 is 15 and 20 into 5 is 100. So, how will I write this one, children? 15 by 100 is nothing but 0 0.1. Clear? Can we verify and see? So, now if I divide 100 here, will it get divisible? No, because 15 is a small number, right? So, what will I do? I will put a decimal value becomes 150. So, now is 150 divisible by 100? Yes. So, one time 100 remainder is 50. Will 50 get divisible by 100? No. Again, I will add a 0 here. It will get divided 5 times. So, this will become 0.15. Clear? Shall we do one more example? Okay. So, the next example is 7 by 125. Okay. So, now which is the nearest number in which you can convert this children? Is it possible to convert in 100? No. Because? 125 is greater than 100, right? So, after 100, what is the next number in zeros value? Very good. It is 1000, right? So, now we will be converting this number into 1000. So, how many times will 1000 get divisible by 125? Shall we divide and see? Okay. So, 125 into 5 is how much? 5 fives are 25. 2, 2 5s are 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, 1, 1 5s are 5, 5 plus 2, 1 is 6, 6 25. So, it has to be multiplied more, right? Shall we try 7? 1 25 into 7. So, 5 7s are 35, 3, 2 7s are 14, 14 plus 3 is 17, 1, 1 7s are 7, 7s 
7 plus 1, 8. Again, there is a chance, right? So, we will be multiplying it by next number and seeing. So, 125 into 8, 5 eights are 40, 4, 2 eights are 16, 16 plus 4 is 20, 2, 1 eights are 8, 8 plus 2, 10. So, it is give, getting exactly multiplied by 8 to form 1000. So, here I will be multiplying my numerator and denominator by 8. So, 7 eights are 56 and 125 into 8 is 1000. So, this becomes 56 by 1000. So, my answer will be 0 0.056. Shall we verify and see? So, let us see here. 1000 divided by, I am sorry, 56 divided by 1000. Okay. Will it get divisible children? No. So, I put a decimal here. It becomes 560. Now, is it divisible? No. Because 560 is again less than 1000. So, I put one more zero. Now, is it divisible? Yes. So, when I put here extra 0, I add here one more 0. Okay. Now, it gets divided 5 times. So, 5000 and now here it is 600. Is it divisible? No. Now, if I add one 0 towards the right hand side, it gets divided 6 times. Is it right? Okay. So, now did you understand how will you convert a fraction into a decimal? The very first step is you have to convert it into the multiples of 0 values. That is either 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and it goes on. So, you have to check on the place value. Okay. For that, you have to see what is the denominator value and what is the nearest number which you can convert it. After that, the second step which you will be doing is you will be multiplying it with a number that gets easily convertible to the very next tenths value. And when you multiply that number, the same number you have to multiply the numerator also. After that, the number which you obtain, you have to divide and then convert it into the decimal figure. Is it clear children? So, based on this concept, we will be solving a couple of questions.